Well, we begin tonight with the new health scare for families in Metro Detroit and beyond. Doctors are sounding the alarm about a pediatric hepatitis outbreak. Good evening. Welcome to 7 Action News at 11. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. So far, 169 cases have been recorded worldwide. 17 of those cases required a liver transplant. Sadly, one child died. 7 Action News reporter Nana St. Bonsu went to the experts to find out what parents and guardians need to know. Good evening. As of now, there are no reported cases in the state of Michigan, but a doctor here at Children's Hospital in Detroit doesn't want parents to panic. He just wants them to know the symptoms and what to look out for. Is this the next thing in, in hepatitis? Like who would ever think that? with children. There are so many questions running through Rusty Klein's head as he watches his little ones play in the front yard. Is this a whole new pandemic? Is this something that we're going to have to deal with? He's talking about a mysterious outbreak of hepatitis cases in children. Just another thing that a parent has to deal with. It's terrible. Doctors say the virus attacks the liver. It can be very severe that the liver will stop uh, working. Dr. Najib Zubi is the director of the liver transplant program at the Children's Hospital in Detroit. He's been monitoring the outbreak that was first identified in Europe before making its way to the United States. Scotland uh, gets seven or eight cases per year and within a short period of time, two months, they got 10. So that's, uh, that's a huge uh, increase for them. A cluster of nine hepatitis cases were spotted in Alabama in children ranging in the age from one to six years old. There are now cases in North Carolina and Illinois. The majority of the cases uh, recovered on their own, uh, meaning that they were in the hospital, but they did not need the liver transplantation. Right now, the cause is unknown, but CDC says at this time, we believe the adenovirus may be the cause for these reported cases, but investigators are still learning more. Dr. Najib Zubi doesn't want parents to panic. He wants you to be aware of the signs. Increased sleepiness, uh, fatigue, uh, malaise, feeling weak. Uh, sometimes you can see jaundice, which is the yellowish discoloration of the eyes. Worldwide, there are at least 169 cases and one death. It might reach Michigan. Uh, I am kind of uh, optimistic that most of the cases will not require uh, liver transplantation. It's a wait and see game, right? Just like everything else where how bad is this going to be? How quickly is it going to spread? Dr. Zubi wants parents to keep an eye on your children. He says if you start noticing symptoms, call your child's pediatrician and request blood work so they can check your child's liver enzymes. I'm Nana St. Bonsu for 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Nana. Now we have posted a link on WXYZ.com with a warning from the CDC about the pediatric hepatitis outbreak. You'll also find a breakdown of the symptoms to watch out for in children. Dave?